For this video, I'm going to show you the content delivery network. And before I get into that, let's just let me explain it a bit. So I have a storage account that I created. Don't worry about it. It's in uh, whatever location, Canada. So when users make requests to this storage account, normally they make the request to it and it comes back. And that's great if they're in the same region as Canada Central. But if the user is in a different region like US East, then they're going to have higher latency and not have the best experience. So what Microsoft has done is they created edge servers around all the different regions. And so using the CDN, users will first try to make a request to whatever resource they want, in this case the storage account, and the CDN directs that to the closest edge server to that user based on their region and then it directs it to the origin which is the resource that they're trying to use to storage account and then it gets the information it needs and it caches it and then sends it back to the user and then the next time the user wants that same request it doesn't even have to go all the way to the origin through the edge server it just goes directly from the edge server back to the user so it's even faster or better latency at least and um, so those edge servers are called the point of presence and so let's let's get started so we're going to create cdn and give it a resource group and it's going to say this in order to create the profile, you have to have CDN listed as a registered resource provider in your subscription. So let's go to your subscription, go to resource providers, search CDN, and well, I was just, I did this, I was practicing. Um, it should be, let's refresh it. I'm surprised it's still on registering. It's, in a few minutes. Let's try it again. Okay, I'll come back when it's fully unregistered. Um, but all you have to do is, well, I won't come back actually. Well, actually I would have to, to re register again. So you just register and then it takes a while and this will change. It'll say registering and then it'll change to registered or something. And it'll be a green check. Um, so I'll come back when it's ready. Okay, it's finally ready, it's registered. So we'll go back, create the CDN. Oops. And it doesn't have that message anymore. Let's name it, whatever you want. And it's global because that's how they work across all the regions. And I'm just going to use standard Microsoft. Oh, man. Okay, well, it looks like I can't create a one. Let's see what happens. Yep. Well, I guess I'll explain what happens after you create it. So you can either create an endpoint here or afterwards, but you just put in the origin so for me it'd be the storage account because that's what I have or you could put web app or custom then after you make the endpoint it takes like 10 to 15 minutes for it to actually work so so then you wait till your endpoint's done and it should have the green check mark then you open it and then you copy its uh, host name and you put post in the new tab and then, so, I messed up, I clicked pause when I should have clicked play. Um, I said, so you put in the tab, whatever the endpoint is, and then you do slash and whatever file you're trying to get from, for in my case, a storage account. So it would be like drawing.jpg, so, and then it'd show up. 